Okay guys, this is going to give you a video of how to install your G2 drivers on Windows. I'm using Windows 7 here, and as you can see, I went to the G2 uh, wiki page. Um, if you go into here and you can look for um, connecting to TinyG, you can go ahead and click that and we can get started on this. Um, first off, I'll show you really quick though, oops, not this thing. Um, let's go ahead and bring up our device manager. Device manager. And you can see we have two tiny G's, two ports, but one tiny G is connected because tiny G uh, and G2 uh, exports two ports, one um, communication port or data port and, and one a control port. But we'll get into that in a second. So you can see this little like exclamation point that means the drivers are not loaded. So what we need to do is we need to load the drivers. Um, typically nowadays, when you just kind of like uh, plug a device in, a lot of the times it'll just go grab them and kind of do it for you. Unfortunately, it's not working like that right now. So we kind of got to go back to the old school way of installing drivers. Pretty darn simple. So, like I said, let's go ahead and get connecting to, uh, to Tiny G. Um, you're going to see right here we got drivers for G2. OS X has everything you need. Um, Windows is does not. So we need to go ahead and grab this INF file. And if you look over the mouse over, I can't really show you at the bottom there, but see Tiny G Tiny G dot INF. So let's go ahead and right click, save as. And it's going to complain about this for me because I already downloaded this a couple of times. So let's just make it that. Throw it to the desktop. I actually have it here from previous doing this. So let's go click yes. All right, let's go there. All right, so it downloaded it. Great. It's on the desktop. It downloaded it. Let's go back to our device manager, and let's just double click it. So pretty darn simple. Let's just go ahead and click update driver. Let's browse. And then you don't need to do anything after this. Let's go ahead and click. Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. We're going to be installing ports, okay? So let's just keep going down. There we go. Ports. Port, uh, com port. Let's click next. And now we get to click have disk. Um, we're going to click browse. And we're going to go to the very top desktop where I told you guys to download it at. Click open. OK. And it's going to say, hey, look at that, we got a control channel. So remember, it was control channel. Also, you're going to get these really nasty grams. Oh, it's not signed and you know, scary, scary, window scariness. Uh, just click install the driver anyways. It's fine. You can look at the INF file if you'd like to before you do this um, and see what it's actually doing. So we're going to wait a second. And you can actually see behind here, it's doing some stuff. Look right here, and this is going to pop away. Now we have one of them. So we installed the control channel. Just remember that, OK? Click OK. Click close. Cool. All right, but we still have this one here, so what the heck. Let's go ahead and do the same thing again. Let's click the update the driver. We're going to browse. We're going to pick. And then we're going to go back to ports. If we don't pass it, there we go. And we're going to click next, have disk, and the very same INF file, tinyg uh, v2 INF. Boom. All right, let's click OK. Oh my gosh, we got a ton of stuff here. So I remember I said twice, remember that you did the control channel on this one. It's this actually now. Do tiny g v2 data channel, okay? Let's click next. Yeah, that's fine. And now we've got the data channel installed. So let's see what we have here. All right, so we have COM port six, uh, 17 and 18. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna minimize this guy and I'm gonna bust open cool term. All right, uh, let's just go ahead and run coolterm.exe. More scariness for Windows. OK, so let's see what we have here. I'm going to click Options. All right, so we have our COM ports. Look at that. So we have both of our ports. So let's go ahead and open 17. And let's change it to the right speeds. Let's put flow control on. And let's make sure our terminal mode, put it in line. I like doing that so you guys can see what I'm actually typing. All right, so now we got our little line down here. So let's click connect. Cool, look at that. So we've got our connection uh, message right here. So if we do something like G0X10, we're gonna see it moving around. Now if you have your motors hooked up and you issue that command, obviously something's gonna move. I don't have any motors hooked up right now for this video, um, so uh, I can issue movement commands. But you could just as easily um, do something like $FB to get our firmware build. Um, either way, you see how to install drivers on Windows 7. Uh, Windows 8 um, and I think Windows 10 should be very, very similar. 
Um, but we'll go ahead and cross that bridge when uh, we come to it. So anyways, it should be working, so cool.